Hi everyone, welcome back. So here I'm in this beautiful park. Uh, weather today after so long, it's perfect because last week it was just raining and it was so cold. But today is the perfect weather and I'm here with my husband actually. Uh, he has a meeting next door. So he's like, why don't you come with me? And then after this, we are going to Indian store for the groceries. Uh, and today is, by the way, guys, it's uh, Saturday. That's the only reason I could have come. Otherwise, you know, with a full-time job, it's not possible anymore. Uh, but yeah, I survived. Uh, this is my first week, uh, you know, since I've been full time. And uh, so far, so good. I did manage everything very well on time. And uh, as in my last video, as you guys have seen my meal plannings and all that stuff. So that actually helped me a lot. Uh, so yeah, and this week, this weekend, actually, it's going to be so 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 exciting because Raj is coming home tomorrow and I'm so so happy about it um, because now he's gonna be with us for next three months actually um, but then he has uh, another class that he's taking in summer which start week after so one week he doesn't have anything but after that he has a, a class but I'm so happy that now he's gonna be home with us for next uh, few months everything went so 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 well in this one year as i was so scared very first time when he went and you guys won't believe but all these months i have slept with my phone next to me every single night just to make sure you know that if something is there he could have called me or text me and i don't want to miss that um so i was just thinking yesterday i was like that said one more night and i don't need to sleep with my phone next to me uh, but everything went very well you know i'm so happy and so grateful uh except one hiccup that we had it and uh, he actually had a flu that time the temperature was all the way to 103 and uh, it was friday afternoon he called me i remember and then i left my work i was like i don't care whatever it is friday is usually the busy day for us and long day i was like i don't care i'm going his sake i need to bring him home <laughs> and i'm glad i did that you know and that is the one thing like if you have a college kids who's going or uh, you know kids in the school who wants to plan planning to go to different state uh, i would say first year it's so important that they stay somewhere close by uh, because in emergency like this you know you can always be there for them and they can always come home because first year i'm sure definitely it's a homesick for all kids right um so i'm so glad that he's not out of state because he got uh, admission in so many other colleges um but i'm glad that we went with this decision and yeah so tomorrow is gonna be very very exciting and um, finally now we need to clean out his room and bring all the stuff back home and then he's gonna be home for with us for a few more months and the mother's day is just around the corner and both of my boys will be home with me so i'm so happy for that and i'm not trying to brag or anything because of course as a mom our kids are special but definitely i would say one thing that uh, i'm so blessed and so grateful for both of my boys academic wise uh, manners wise the way they handle everything it's like that's it you know that's that's what you want from the kids basically since uh, Raj left last year, right, I was very nervous in the beginning. I just didn't know how he will handle things because he has never gone anywhere by himself. Over here, as you guys know, he has his own room, own bathroom. Everything is taken care of for him. So I just didn't know how he will handle the change, right? But this kiddo, not only in that manner, academic-wise, he had made us proud so much. And I was also nervous about Aryan because ever since Aryan was born they both were been together so I just didn't know how that separation will be right uh, but he also Aryan as you guys know like academic wise is doing great so Raj over there managed everything very well and all this time guys you won't believe but not even one single time this kiddo complained to me saying 
hey mom this is not perfect or i need this or i don't like this never ever hear complain about anything i have seen his bathroom bathroom is so sometimes nasty his room you guys have seen it uh, the mattress is not comfortable at all sometime he'll order the food but by the time he goes there to get it they don't have any more so in that case he either don't eat or whatever the snacks or anything he has it he eat and go to sleep but not even one single time this kid had complained to me saying mom you know this is not going to work i don't like this never ever complain he took everything so positively even sometimes i used to tell him i was like raj you know let me send you something by amazon or whatever right or let me come there and give you some food or i can come there to see you in the weekend or he's like no mom you know i got it don't worry about staying it. at the college where there is no any adult supervision you know kids sometimes go out of track but this kid never did anything that he's not supposed to do academic wise all his grades still it's like a plus and he's so focused on his things sometimes i used to tell him i was like raj it's a friday night go have fun you know go somewhere but he's like no mom monday or you know i have an exam coming or something i can go i don't want to do that so he's very 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 focused on the things that he wanted and that actually made me so proud uh that even us not being there with him he's handling all these things very well so after his meeting we did stop by the indian grocery store this time we went to india bazaar and if you go to india bazaar in centerville nowadays they do have the food truck out there and they sell these momos highly recommend guys these are the vegetarian one it was so good and these are my usual grocery so i had my list ready i knew exactly what i want to buy but if i would to show you my list there is hardly anything was in there but look all this other stuff that i bought especially when my husband is with me he always end up buying few extra things and i actually don't mind at all um uh, because you know as you guys know we all are so foodie and at any time when we see something new we do want to try it and if i would have gone to patel brothers i'm sure i would have bought way more than what i bought from here uh i highly recommend this good chana if you like something sweet but of course you don't want to eat like you know the high calorie sweet basically you should try that it is really good so sometime like you know after dinner you want to eat something sweet uh it's really nice i keep one at work and one at home um so try that that one is really good always have the rice roti on hand onion kulcha you can actually just eat this onion kulcha just like that you don't need any sabji or anything with it especially now the kids will be home i need few things also you know because um any time whenever they want to eat something if i'm not around they can just help themselves and make something and mainly actually i needed the sabjis right all the vegetables like i was out of everything as i show you guys in my last video uh so that was the main thing that i need really bad to go to indian store and few things that you know i don't i don't get it at the regular grocery store over here um so for that reason i like to go to indian store so that way i can get the groceries as well as the vegetables everything buy it at the one place and of course i do want to go to mandir because now raj will be home um and knock on wood you know this one year passed very well like you know nothing happened um so i do want to take the raj whenever actually he came home in this last one year i make a point that i take him to the mandir and uh, uh this time also when he comes home i do want to go so every time i go to mandir i never go empty hand i always have the prashad with me so yes <laughs> as you can see we just have a few piece left of this uh, but it was really good you know i never i like uh, momos uh, the i guess they deep fry them i like that kind of one i don't like the steam one but after uh, trying that steam one highly highly recommend it was so good next day we went to pick up raj and over there uh, they do have this maharaj indian restaurant highly highly recommend so if you happen to be in charlottesville or somewhere close by try this restaurant 
especially if you're a fan of spicy food and you ask them to make the sabji Indian spicy, they literally do make it Indian <laughs> spicy because I have gone to so many restaurants and when you even tell them to make it Indian spicy, not all restaurants will make it to that level, but especially this one, their food is excellent. It is so tasty. And then also after that, we stopped by at Raj Dome. Again, guys, I was so emotional because I still remember, you know, very first time when we came here, drop him and just ignore this other side. Um, that's his roommate side. And you know how boys are, right? Um, so it was kind of messy. But anyways, uh, once we were done packing all the stuff, it started raining. So then we stay in his uh, room for at least an hour or so and here as you can see his side we empty it out uh, so definitely Raj is gonna miss this place um, because you know he had a, such a great memory the first year went by very quickly I would say but these are the things and my car was packed with all this stuff and while coming home as I said you know it was raining so but I'm so glad he's at home and uh, thank you so much for watching this video guys. I will see you soon in my next video. Till then, take care. Bye.